Hello, I'm Karen Larson with a look at some of the top stories from Two Works For You. City and county detectives are calling the death of Scott Wade a death by suicide. He's the man arrested this week on suspicion of murdering his own mother. We spoke with Tulsa police homicide investigators who are still working the case. They say that Wade called them to the house near 37th and Yale, who said his mother, Betty Jo Hamilton, was dead. Investigators say it was apparent that the crime scene was staged. A police report says Wade broke his glasses and tried to cut his wrist with the lenses after he was interviewed by investigators. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office says he hung himself last night. The investigation is ongoing. The State Health Department reporting another day of more than a thousand new COVID cases, 1,089 positive cases across the state, a slight decrease from yesterday. An additional eight coronavirus related deaths are also being reported. We've lost 970 people since since it started in March. Well, the University of Tulsa football game against Arkansas State is postponed due to coronavirus concerns. According to Arkansas State Athletics website, the Red Wolves don't have enough players for the team to play safely. Arkansas and TU are working to reschedule the game. Well, thanks for the memories. That's the parting message from Tulsa's Laser Quest. After nearly three decades, the entertainment center near 31st and South Sheridan has closed. Laser Quest hosted birthday parties, camps, and church events. And they say the coronavirus pandemic made it nearly impossible for them to carry on. And in their Facebook page, thanked all the patrons who supported them over the years. Turning now to our 10-day forecast, take a look at these temperatures. Going to be around 81 degrees tomorrow afternoon, warming back up on Friday, Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, morning lows in the mid 60s and then cooling off again next week. Well, that is a look at some of the stories that are making headlines today. Stay with Two Works for you for updates.